Welcome to the Kearns Drive Box Culvert Project. This week we're installing a 12 foot by 9 foot box culvert and this is how we're doing it. Holtmeyer moves the earth. Step one in the process, we've got to get a hole dug. We're going to go down about 20 feet to get this new box set. Now we've got to get a good rock base in, so we're going to put in two feet of uh, inch and a half crushed rock on top of a uh, type 5 fabric. It's going to make it good and solid for the box to sit on. So now we've got a hole, we've got some rock in and we're ready to get some boxes set. Uh, these boxes that we're setting, they're 12 feet wide, 9 feet tall and weigh 36,000 pounds. So we decided to use two excavators to lower them down into the trench, uh, at which point we're going to hand them off to another excavator and he'll be the guy setting them. Moving on, we got that first piece in and we got everything marked and laid out so that started straight so it's online and on grade and that's gonna make the rest of it go real easy. He's going to get it carefully set down where it belongs and we'll squish it together with a, using a skid loader to help push it in and then use um, tie rods to get it bolted together so it's going to stay right where we want it. For this box, the main barrel is 144 feet long, so that's 24 pieces at 6 feet long each. And there's also three apron pieces on each end that are also 6 feet long, so we got 18 feet of apron on each end and 144 feet of main barrel.
got all the barrels set. We just have to get the apron section set now. So before we can do that, we have to get the drop wall set. That's gonna sit right at the very end of the last apron section. And it's critical that piece gets set just right so our last couple pieces go in perfect. The drop wall that we're putting in is 20 feet long, a foot thick, and three feet deep, and that's to help the, prevent water from scouring underneath the new box. So now that all the boxes are set and in place, we've got to put some waterproofing on there, which is a butyl mastic sealant, and that's to ensure that there's not going to be any leaking going on through the pipe. While we're getting the new box set, we've got to do something with the water that's been flowing through the existing pipe. On this project, we were able to utilize the existing pipe as a bypass that kept the water flowing away from our work area. So the old pipe that was here before we started was an existing 90-inch pipe uh, alongside a 66-inch concrete pipe, and they were kind of falling apart, so that's what got us the job to put in this new one. We've got the pipe all wrapped and the old pipe ripped out. Now we can start backfilling our hole. And for this project, we're gonna use a special manufactured sand that's gonna get good compaction for the new road.
And that's how we did the Curtin's Drive box culvert. Hope fire moves, moves the earth. earth.